If you're the kind of person that pays attention to exoplanet news, and come on, who isn't, then you've probably heard this term before, habitable zone. And you might have noticed that it's kind of a big deal when an exoplanet is found in the habitable zone. So you might be wondering to yourself, what's so special about this zone? Well, one of the biggest goals of exoplanet science is to find another planet like this one. And one really important thing about Earth is that it has a ton of liquid water. In fact, pretty much every living thing we know about needs it to survive. Whether or not an exoplanet could also have liquid water depends a lot on its temperature. Too hot and any water will just boil away. Too cold and the place will be more like a giant snowball. Now, as you might guess, a planet's temperature has a lot to do with how far away from its star it is. A planet that's too close to its star star, like Mercury, is just going to bake, whereas one that's too far away, like Neptune, is going to be way too cold. So that sweet spot in the middle, not too hot and not too cold, is exactly where we're looking for another planet like this one. And as you might also guess, where that habitable zone is depends a lot on the size of the star. So it's really close into little dwarf stars and really far away from huge hot ones. So scientists use what they know about stars to calculate a habitable zone for each one. Now, this is something that's really important to understand. When astronomers find an exoplanet in the habitable zone, it doesn't mean it's teeming with aliens, it doesn't mean that it could support life as we know it, it doesn't even mean that it actually has liquid water. All it is is a rough ballpark estimate of where liquid water could exist. But if we're gonna find another planet like this one, that's probably where it's gonna be. Now keep in mind that there are tons of different factors that affect whether or not life could survive on an exoplanet, like Right now, we're really limited in what we can observe. So when you hear about a new exoplanet discovery in the habitable zone, it's probably a good idea to hold off before jumping in your spaceship and heading out there. But we know where to start looking, and as we get better and better at hunting for exoplanets, the stuff we could start to find could change everything.